Hi, my name is Jessica Lindsay, and I'm doing my Girl Scout Gold Award on rural road safety for cars sharing the road with bicycles, pedestrians, and equestrians. So who can use the road? Everyone has a right to use the road. The Oregon Revised Statutes, also called ORS 811 and 814, have rules for the road for drivers, livestock, horses, um, bikes, and pedestrians. So there are some rules about how to safely share the lane in rural areas for no, where there are no shoulders and for all road users, as well as responsibilities for bicyclists, pedestrians, and equestrians. ORS Chapter 811 has rules for the road for drivers yielding to pedestrians, r um, rules for the road for drivers yielding to bicyclists, and rules of the road for drivers yielding to equestrians and livestock as well as ORS Chapter 814, which has laws regulating pedestrians yielding to vehicles, laws regulating um, equestrians and livestock yielding to vehicles, and laws regulating bicycles to yielding to vehicles. So the responsibilities for the bicyclists, pedestrians, and equestrians are follow the laws, be visible, and behave predictably, which is difficult for young children and animals. I like this little yellow sign down the right hand corner that says um, it shows the bicycle pedestrian and equestrian and it shows who's supposed to yield to who and that the bicycle is supposed to stop for the pedestrian and the pedestrian speaks to the horse and the horse stands for the bicycle. This next slide has some signs you can look out for. The traditional ones that you see most often are the bicycle, the pedestrian, and the equestrian just in the, rect the square. These are the rules of the road for pedestrians. So pedestrians on country roads need to be visible. They should walk across the traffic, and when they need to yield to equestrians and talk to the horses, they pass. And if the horse is frightened, they need to step aside and let the rider pass, or try to make yourself less scary. If you're unsure, you should ask the rider. You should always have an escape plan. There may, may or, there may be places where you don't want to walk because of safety concerns, so you should scope out your route before you try it. The Willamette Pedestrian Coalition has a useful website for ideas about pedestrians on how to be safe on the roads and what roads to go on, etc. These are the rules for the bicyclists. Biking is fun, and so you should obey traffic laws including traffic signals and stop signs. Confrontation with a car driver is not worth it, so you should ride defensively. The bike signals for left turn, you stick your left arm out straight and you can point if you want. Stopping, you stick your left arm down and you can have a stop sign hand. Right turn, you there's two different ways. You can have your left arm sticking up with a stop sign hand or you could have your right arm sticking straight out and you can point. So is she easy to see? Yeah, she kind of blends into the road, maybe. And there's that glare. So, what's some stuff she can do to make herself more visible? Um, maybe you can wear something different. Yeah, so maybe a safety vest or something? Yeah, that sounds good. Are there any other ways that she can make herself more visible? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here on this next slide, you can use vests and lights to make yourself more visible. So over here on the left you can see she has her reflective vest that's orange and her little light and that um, makes her more visible and she doesn't blend in like in the picture on the right. So when you're bike on the road if there's no bike lane or bike lane size shoulder then you should bike two to three feet from the edge of the road and this is sometimes in the right tire rut and if you're riding in a group you should you can ride single file or you can ride two to three abreast but if you do ride two to three abreast you should have someone in the back spotting for traffic so that way you can go back to single file and if you're riding your bike and you come across a horse and rider you need to slow down and talk to the horse as you go by you may need to dismount from your bike and walk it past the horse you should move slowly and smoothly around a horse and if you're f approaching from behind you should let the rider know that you're coming up and you shouldn't assume that the horse will be comfortable with your bike when you're on the ride, you should look out for debris on the road, catch basin grates, utility cuts, and potholes. Also, traffic signal detection that does not activate by your bike. Opening car doors, bad drivers, pedestrians, and two- and four-legged animals. This picture right here actually happened to me. 
These are the rules for the equestrians. If you're driving in a horse-drawn vehicle, you should have a slow-moving vehicle sign on the back. The slow-moving vehicle sign is this little orange rectangle on the back of that wagon right there. Other safety items you can use are safety vests, which is like this yellow one right here in the middle. Um, reflective arm and leg bands, and sometimes they have raincoats like on the left. You should also familiarize your horse to traffic on less used roads before you ride on heavy traffic roads. An equestrian can move with or against the traffic unless a horse is pulling a vehicle, in which case it needs to go with the traffic. This is a movie that I have about training horses to deal with traffic. This is the rules for the road for motorists. Motorist responsibilities. Always be courteous to other road users, yield to alternative types of transportation, and pass slowly, safely, and leave a safe distance. How far from the bike should this car be? Um, More. Farther away. It looks like it's touching the mirror. Yeah, and see how they have that other car coming up? If they're farther away, maybe they'll have a wreck. So what should this car really be doing? Perhaps it should be waiting for the bike. Yeah, waiting is a good idea. So over here on this next slide, we learn that the distance the driver should be driving from the bike is so that if the bike were to fall over, see on this little black line? If they were to fall over, then the car would be passing far enough that they wouldn't be hitting the bike and leave a little space as well. Normally this would be around five to six feet. Also, you guys are right, the car should not pass until it can do so safely. What should the driver of this car be doing? It looks squished in by that um, tight road. Yeah. So should they wait or should they try and pass and get around real quick? Mm. Hard to say. Yeah. So here we see what would happen if they do pass. And there's a car coming up over the top of this hill and there's a big crash. So we learned that you know you shouldn't really be passing on a blind hill. So what you should be doing, instead of passing the bike pedestrian or equestrian on a blind hill, the car should slowly follow the bike pedestrian or equestrian up the hill. Then when the car can see the other side of the hill and that everything is clear, then they can pass in a safe and slow manner. So driving around slow moving road users. You should leave around 10 to 12 feet behind your vehicle and a buggy that is stopped. Buggies may roll back a few feet, and as a rule of thumb, you should be able to see where the rear wheels of the buggy touch the road. Imagine traveling at 55 miles per hour. Over here on the right, I'm coming upon a vehicle that is 500 feet ahead, which is traveling at 45 miles an hour. After 6 seconds, you'll have 412 feet to react before you have a collision, but over here on the left, if you're traveling at 55 miles an hour and 500 feet ahead, there's a buggy traveling at 5 miles an hour, and after 6 seconds you'll have 44 feet to react to avoid a collision. So you can see that there's way less time or way less distance before you have a collision. So immediately upon seeing a slow moving vehicle emblem or seeing a bicycle pedestrian or equestrian, you need to slow da down and prepare to pass with caution. So what should this handler do and what should the driver do when they're car is passing a horse. Um, make sure that the horse won't react and perhaps stop. Could they get off the road more? Well, they can't really get off the road right here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's this huge ditch right next to the handler, so they're kind of over as far as they can go. So what Theodore said over here is stopping and the 
right handler making sure that the horse is doing okay. That's a good idea. The handler puts up their hand to signal the distress of the horse. And then the car will slow down, stop, and or turn off its motor until the horse is calm and the rider stops signaling distress. And then when the horse is calm, the rider can go and go around the horse slowly and quietly, but it must be prepared to stop if the horse is scared again. So in that other slide, the car should have been stopping or slowing down to make sure that everything is going okay, and they can pass slowly, but they need to watch for the handler putting up their hand. So the summary of the motorist responsibilities is when passing other kinds of road users, go slowly and courteously and leave a safe distance. You need to never pass on a blind hill or curve, and if a horse is scared, then stop in or turn off your engine. So what you can do. You can use this new knowledge to drive safely around bikes, pedestrians, and equestrians. You can share the road courteously, and you can help survey non-motorist road use. I've been working with the county to make surveys so people can be posted at different areas, and they can count different bikes, pedestrians, or equestrians on the road, and the county can get counts of that. And I wanted to thank the Clackamas County Department of Transportation Planning, Joseph Merrick, He's a traffic engineering supervisor. My Girl Scout Troop 181, Mara Clifton, Randa James, and Lisa Clifton, the Girl Scout leader, and my family as well have been really helpful. Let's make our community safe and have good knowledgeable drivers, bikers, pedestrians, and equestrians. Thank you and be safe.